Take her down! Here we go! Oh, sweet, I remember this one. Do Quite possibly again? my favorite boss fight in the entire Sonic series. I love this boss fight. Yeah, I forgot. And by the way, if you die, you'll have no rings for this the next time. So, you gotta be perfect. Vigilance. Got yeah. it. It's not quite as hard as the Egg Robo from Sonic 2, but you gotta do a lot more work. You just gotta keep breaking off his fingers. Oh, God. I don't want to be here. Look at all these dicks I have on my robot. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, shit's about to get real. Now it's game's on now. Thank you, I always have an easy time hitting the fingers. It's what comes afterward that's scary. Yeah, the next part's pretty hard. I will admit, the next part's pretty rough. It's the next part that scares me. Yeah, I don't like the next part personally, but... I've learned to dodge it. There is an easy pattern, but yeah, it takes still... a while to figure out how to approach it. Okay. Oh, I noticed the time carries over from the last boss fight, too. Yeah. Annoying as shit. Because <laughs> we had to kill this thing quickly. One more finger! Kill that last dick! Damn it! Only the fingers will hurt you, thankfully. Alright, here we go. Part two. Oh, God. So, now the egg robo comes to the side and marches at you. I don't, I Prepare don't... for fireballs. But what you really have to do... Hit him to reveal the core while I jump! That's why. Yep, you gotta hit the core of Master Rumble is. But if you get too greedy, you'll get hit by the beam. You'll get vaporized. At least now the time's reset. <sighs> Thank God. But I wish nice enough to do that. If you can manage to save over 50 rings from the previous fight and use them here... Fight's well, a joke. Yes. But, you know... The Super 4 makes this fight very easy, but... Now we're gonna do it the proper yeah, way. Yeah, I, pro I personally like doing this fight without the Super Form. It feels a lot better this way. Especially considering there's a better place for the Super Form. Well, yeah. Obviously. That's the trick, though. Fighting Knuckles again! <laughs> he came back with a vengeance! Nice teamwork. All That's right. a trick. You gotta stand in between them and you can actually, you know... Jump! Yeah, I'll just trust you to tell me when to jump. I'll just trust you to tell me when to jump. Ah! I'll trust I my keep forgetting I gotta hit him in the face, not the chest. Jump! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> yep, and don't get close to him when his thing closes up. Because that's where the fire streams come from. Oh, damn, we're back down to single digits. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I almost got a little lazy there. Got a little sloppy, a little drunk. <laughs> Where are you? Yep. You only, your friend. <laughs> the only character that doesn't fight this thing is Knuckles. There's a reason though for that. I say I love this boss music, by the way. Oh my god. Ah. This boss music is hype as shit. Nice. Yeah, spinning actually between the fingers is a good way to go. Yeah. I personally just like to jump on them. I know. I'll let you can see. But again, I know the timing so well. So how many times I've fought this thing. I know there's a little bit of a trick to standing between them, because there's just enough. Oh yeah, there's that too, yeah. I just like enough a pixel for you to um, hide underneath. Jump! Oh, uh, maybe a little early. My bad. Okay. Pretty much, once you see it flashing really quickly, know, well, the thing. moment you see it stop flashing, jump. The moment you see it stop flashing. Like, it. the exact moment. If you do it a little too late, you're gonna get blasted. <laughs> it's tough time to get that attack down. Oh, this is kind of exhausting, though. And again, we've been doing this for a while. We have been playing this game for four and a half hours. And I... I, I stopped paying attention for five uh, seconds, though. That was my own fault. It's okay. Don't I worry. just wanted to make sure because I don't want to lose this Everything's still going. We're good. We're good. I know. I just don't want to lose this recording because... I know. This was... This was one... This is, one, this is literally the best run I've done in this game. I I'm going to be dead if I lose now. I will not... I will not be humiliated now. I'll make sure it doesn't happen. I'll be with you all the way. <laughs> 
I'll of course trust you to help me out. This was my very first Sonic game. I make it a I make it a point to know this game front to back. And I make it a point. And I make it a point to make sure I finish it by myself to the damn bitter end. Yes. When it's worth a damn, you better bet your sweet ass, I will not rest. Until it is done. The Until deed the will be done. Better fucking go over here. I'm over here. Eat my dick. No! <laughs> I want to shut back up. I'll shut it back up where you're supposed to be, dead. Alright. Jump! Ooh, I might, I might have told you to go a little early, but you did it, Rock. Yeah! Jump! Okay, yeah, so like right about it. where it stops. Flying. I'm gonna trust you to actually hit him because I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Jump! Oh! I did it! I was so. Just a. Just a tiny bit, bit late. So oh. when we get a game over, where will we start? We'll start this fight. Okay, thank god. Okay, so that's not technically a new stage. Bring it. Technically a new stage, so don't worry. It does say Death Egg Act 2, but it's kind of its own little thing. I'm just That's why we died our time reset. I just want to make sure I've asked you one thing. This isn't the latest you've ever gone home, right? No. I've gone home, like, 1 o'clock before. Remember our Ratchet and Clank session? Oh, yeah. I think I left, like, like near 2. Don't worry. I'm good for now. Ah! Oh, I fell to the floor! What the heck? Damn tails. Not as smooth as I like to think you were. Oh, oh, oh. No! I like how it bent to the left! Ew. Ew. Uncomfortable. That's a bad finger. I didn't mean my finger. Oh! Jump! Ow. Jump! You pretty much have it figured out. I'm gonna help you anyway, just to make the pain a little easier to bear. You're just so close. Jump! I just need you to hit it for me. I'll... That was razor close. You're good. And that's done. The time Teamwork. is done. However, there's one little part left. We're not done just yet. He's there's trying to run away with the Master Emerald. Let's and we have Super Emeralds. There's a reason well, why we Well, let's beat the shit out of him first. By the way, run. Don't stop running for anything. I'll never stop running. As long as you do not let go of holding right, you will not fall. I will never stop running. You hear me? Never! I'm gonna keep running let you do all the work. I can't die. Alright, we're good. And there we go! That's the end of Eggman! We got the Master Emerald back! So you would think. The Doomsday Zone! If you have Supersonic and Sonic and Knuckles, or I guess Hypersonic and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or this you may have to hold on to Super, I guess. Well, you get this stage! The last By the way, you press one of the uh, buttons to boost. The Supersonic Stage. It's basically a big chase where you have to collect rings to keep your rate total high. And this ain't gonna get old anytime soon. Oh, yes. I do love these in the games. A nice epic finish. Yeah. That is nice, though. Yeah, they are, like, cool epic. That's why all the other future Sonic games usually try to have a Supersonic fight towards the end. This was the state. This was the first inherited um, show for it. Oh, yeah. And well, it was just a superpower for Sonic 2, but they didn't really get to take full advantage of it like they do here. You get to fly out in frickin' space! In space! In space, about nobody how... can hear me crack this egg. <laughs> oh yeah. And here we go! Make it to the boss. Here's the boss. Bring it. It can be a little confusing the first time. Yeah. But and remember, you do have a strict time limit because of your ring counter. Yep. You don't lose rings for getting hit, but you get stalled. Yeah. And well... So... Those super missiles he has, drag them into his face! Like so! So, yeah. Just keep dragging them into him. He fires three at a time. Just don't tr try to not get hit by any of them, because, well, if you do, it take, makes the fight take a little longer. Yeah. And there are no rings in this section, so you want to be quick. So, make it count. It probably takes somebody a couple tries to figure this stage out, yeah. but once you know it, it's pretty easy. This is the hardest part right here. Just dash away! Oh, damn. Oh, come on! Just hit him right in the face! 
Oh, dear. Any of the fast music when you're close to running out of rings. Oh, I'll probably won't be able to keep going. But you knock that out! And with that, I say... I'm dead! <laughs> that phase is the hardest part of this fight. Mostly because... Because there's another phase after that. But, well, yeah. Because you can't collect rings, you have to take your time, collect all the rings you can here, and blaze through quickly. Yeah. So you can blast through that phase. So, first, take some time to actually grab your rings first, and then... Yes. Um, They're always in the same spot, so try to memorize where the big packs are if you can. Yep. Right like here. that one. Always remember that 12. Yeah, that 12 will be when you're saving graces. If you can, see if you can get 100. I don't think I've ever gotten 100 through this. I think the most I've had at a time was like 90-something. Yeah, that's probably going to be as close as I'm going to get. Check. Yep. That, right. Yeah, ring starts scattering all over the place. It's a little harder to track which way you want to go. But yeah, don't boost that in the beginning because you want to grab some ring first. Yeah. But once you get to Eggman, go nuts. I'm reckless, so I usually do, but I remember the rings are, so I can blast my way through it anyway. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it's fun going through this fast, but... Yes. All right, now let's blast now forward. Let's, now, let's, now let's give Eggman a taste of his money. Let's go. Bring it. Ah, come on, come on, come on. I Hold did it. tell him to bring it, and he tried to. Hey, well, he almost did. Yeah. By almost, I mean... Your dash is very useful in this section. Yeah. You're gonna want to lure these, um... Huh! One I'm hit him anyway. Four. That's four. Just like other bosses, this takes eight hits. A little surprising. A little bit underwhelming in some regard, but... Well, hey, given the time limit you have, I feel like it's fair. Yeah. The limit you have because of your... Especially system. considering half of the time is spent watching this damn thing blow up. Yeah. Which is kind of, which is kind of annoying. You kind of just wish... Well, it kind of has to build up to the... Last phase. Come on, hit him. One more should do it. And we're not done yet. Come on, just hit him quickly, please. And now we watch him fall. And this time we won't die immediately. Yeah. So now he falls. However, he makes one last ditch effort to escape. Now the real chase is on. Grab rings as you find along here and dash your way over to Eggman. Yeah, make sure to grab the rings, take your time. Well, you're like me. you might have to speed ahead in order to reach Eggman, though. Yeah. Hit him in the back! How many times? Eight. I don't have enough rings. Yeah, it, this section can be a little rough, too. It's not as annoying as the first phase. At least you get rings, but... Well, the fact you feel like you might have to ignore someone be able to hit him. Yeah, because look... You keep getting rings in this phase, though, so as long as you keep finding those, you keep yourself alive. Do they, like, generate sort of thing? They kind of keep coming along the same path, I think. So, yeah, take your time to get rings, I guess. You're right. Once you're about 20 or so, you should be able to get another crack at them without having to worry. Over 20. Alright, you hit him four times. Where are your missiles? And yeah, if you hit if you hit him and get stunned, you can still move around. If you get hit by a missile and get stunned, then you can't. Alright, one more should do it. And with that. And now we take the master arrow back and we win. And just like that, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is complete. Damn, we went back to almost our freaking initial life counter. <laughs> Those final bosses, man. But we had so many freaking Ooh. continues, man. But we managed to pull through. I didn't even think this was going to be such a good idea. I didn't even think about it. It was going to be a co-op playthrough, but man, this was fun as balls. Oh, yeah. Sonic 3 is always a fun time. I love the game. The first, one of the first, like, great two-player platformers in my eyes. Yeah. And even playing by yourself, it's freaking great. But yeah, get through all that special stuff, you get the best ending you can for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Basically saving Angel Island! Yep, you save Angel Island, put the Master Emerald back in there, and it lifts again. So once again, I'm left to watch over the Master Emerald. Just watch it over it forever. I don't know why I've given this job. I don't Shut know the I... fuck up, Knuckles! Just sit there like a good guy! Hey, shut up, Knuckles! Here's your Master Emerald, eh? Let me know. No, that would be so shit if actually that wasn't the oh, master wow. emerald. Those guys are good. It's just a chaos emerald. Like, like, wait a minute! The super emerald. <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? Like, it's gonna shriek back. 
Good, now I have the master ammo! Here's a good idea, Sonic. Yeah, he's too stupid. He won't figure it out for a while. The hedgehog totally collapses. Oh, close enough. See? <laughs> it's on See? He'll be dead. But, yeah. I love this game. Yes. Still, I only played it twice, but I still like it for what it is. For me, it is still the best Sonic game there is. 2D and 3D combined, it is the best Sonic game there is to me. 2D wise, best in the series, hands down, followed immediately. No, no. By uh, 2 or Mania, probably? Mania is probably right behind it. Yeah. I'm starting to put Mania up there now, too. Yeah. Well, I, I also say Rush is up there with the 2D end. Yeah. You haven't played Rush, but I can tell you straight up, Rush is also very good. Yeah. I honestly think it's better than any game of the Advanced series. I can probably believe that. It is really good. Like, a lot of, like, I look at a lot of review scores for, like, the Sonic Advanced series. A lot of them average around, like, 88.5. Yeah. Sonic Rush is around 9. Yeah, I know. I heard a lot of good things about the Rush Adventure series, yeah. so... That's and what we're You have two it. different campaigns, and they're, it's fun to be both of them! Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about these games that you kind of wish they had. Fun. Most of the portable games had that. The Advanced Trilogy yeah. had that. And, well... There's some least... annoying things about the Advanced Trilogy. A few. Rings. No, it's not that. Anyways, um, and well, from what I've been hearing about the Rush series, it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Rush Adventure isn't as good, but it's, it's an interesting take. Yeah. But still, Rush 1 is like a pure 2D Sonic game at its, at its finest, arguably just behind this. <laughs> Some people probably won't like it as much. It is the introduction of the boost mechanic. Yeah. Although, it, I it actually helps the game. I got the worst well in that game. It never inherently hurt. I don't think it did anyway. And the really games where it worked, it worked well. Oh yeah. Well, like generations. And I will say, Blaze in that game is awesome. I love Blaze in that game. I don't have more fun being Blaze than Sonic in that one. I, I rarely that. have that with other Sonic games. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is definitely something else. If there's a Sonic game you need to play, it's this one. It's yep. the most accessible, and in my opinion, the best. Yep. And well, I've only completed it twice, so it probably isn't right for me to say this, but hey. If you know the secrets of it, you have one hell of a game with a lot of replay value. And surprisingly, very good 2D. Oh, yeah. The sprite work of the Genesis is usually very good. Yep, and there's the One of the, the best of the 2D platformers. Yep, and there it is. The end. Sonic the Hedgehog, three knuckles. Your nice little ending screen. What are these assholes? I'm the one that did everything. Fuck like you guys. I'm the real star. Yep, and with that, we're done! Ooh. I feel like we should stop this because we've been recording for oh, yeah. four hours straight. You mean now. I want to do the Knuckles play for real <laughs> Oh no. no, I'm not ready for that right now. Not right now. Wolf. We did three playthroughs right now. Sonic 1, which we bl which I blazed through. We blazed that. through that. Sonic 2, we almost blazed through, except for one restart and then end game. Yeah, and end. then this, Secret Stage Hunt. That was brutal. As well as you can use the special stage to get through them easily, it feels like a nice relaxing time, but getting 100% your first time through, Brutal. it's a heck of a journey, but it feels all worth it when you get that hyper mode, baby. Yeah, and Doomsday Zone. Mm-hmm. The Doomsday sounds about right. Oh, yes. But, anyways, we'll end it here before anything goes chaotic. So, yes. This so I guess next, Koshi. and the MJ406. And what are we going to do next? Who I knows? guess next time we'll either come back to another game or do the Knuckles playthrough of this. We'll do something else. Probably, yeah. yeah get a little sure. break in between. Yeah, we need to get Good idea. More, we get other series. The Knuckles better. playthrough will be shorter, though. I can promise that. There's yeah. less worlds, and, well, we're not going to be as determined to get all the frickin' emeralds. Not that we're not going to try. Yeah, we will damn sure try. But anyways, you take care now. Yep.